Hello, the internet. It is Saturday, the 30th of April, 2022, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm, um, I'm on the tail end. Oh, no. Ah, that was the bad move. I'm on the tail end of a head cold here, folks. I've got this gunk that's sitting up there in my sinuses in the back of my ears is when I blew my nose just then half of the gunk just kind of like blocked it all off so I couldn't hear anything out of this this can not a very pleasant way to be not a very pleasant way to stream but either way I'm here with a cold and I thought it'd be good to talk about the remedies for colds lots of people have their own little remedies their own little secrets their own little tricks I want to know what your tricks and your secrets are for common colds, head colds, often called a flu, sometimes even called the man flu, which I find particularly strange in this day and age where everything is cancelable and everything is offendable, yet we can still have the man flu, so it's only for men? Shit! I think that needs to be looked into in fact i got a video about that mindy hey mindy how you doing hey got mindy in the house in the chat uh by the way this glass here it might look filthy it is filthy but it is filthy because i have been using a little remedy of my own this stuff's called hairy lemon now it's not specifically a remedy for a cold and flu but it does give you energy it gives you recovery, it gives you stamina, and it gives you endurance. B complex forte, vitamin C, guarana, and ginseng. So what I want to do, a little ASMR action here. Let's, um, let me put one in the water here. It's one of those little effervescence things. You pop it in the water, which is what I've been doing with this glass, and then listen. Probably should have killed the background music. But I didn't. Um, you can tell I'm sick thinking uh, that this is good content, right? This is not good content. Who thought of ASMR? Dude, I am hot. I'm sweaty. Not enjoying it. Mindy, my remedy is to stay warm. See, that's the thing. It's not cold, yet I'm hot. What? Yeah, it's not cold. Actually, yesterday was 25 degrees. Hey, Siri, what's 25 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 25 degrees Celsius is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 77 uh, USA. It's 77 USAs. Um, that's now fired up. So that's not cold, right? That's not cold at all. But I've, I've been hot and sweaty all the time. Like I'm sweating right now just sitting here. My plan today was to go surfboard riding, but I don't know if I'll be doing that. Hey, um, by the way, uh, DLive, if you're watching this machine on DLive, this is a YouTube stream. Come on over to YouTube. I put the link in the chat there. I'll just confirm. Let me just confirm with how many are over on DLive. Uh, I see Rich over on DLive. Hello, and Jason as well. Come on over to DLive. Rich and Jace, we're over here on DLive machine. And also, while you're there, can you smash the like a Rooney on the YouTube machiney? That'd be good for me. Like that Rooney, smack it, tap it, slide it. Oh, I spit everywhere. By the way, I did get a COVID test. Uh, negative. The result came back. That's one of the good negatives, though, right? Negative in this case is good. The bad negative is the good. The bad negative is the good. Getting a negative COVID result is good. Getting a positive negative result will be bad. That's just there to confuse you, right? I'm already confused. My mind's not working properly. There he is, Rich. How you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Hey, all. G'day, Rich. How you doing, man? By the way, Rich, uh, we have come to the last bottle of cranberry sauce, cranberry juice, uh, which you supplied. Uh, we'll be drinking that on the DLive stream, not the YouTube stream. I took it away from there. It's in the fridge, but we would be, we would normally be tapping into a half cup of cranberry, 
but uh, we'll be doing that on the on the DLive machine later on. So let's pull up the chit chat here so we can all play along. But here are my uh, remedies, folks. <clears throat> now these aren't remedies. These are to like whoa. These are to lessen the blow, I suppose. These tablets here, cold and a uh, codrel day and night capsules. It is what it sounds like. You got like a row of different colored capsules. These ones here are for the daytime, these still for the nighttime. The only difference between the two is that the nighttime one has like natural remedies, herbal remedies that help you sleep. Um, these are good. I find them very handy. The other thing that is really good, I find, and I don't know what this would be called outside of Australia, but here it's called Lem Sip. I guess it's like a, it's a lemony, um, paracetamol -y, garlic -y, honey -y, soothing -y, throaty, sippy, drinky. Um, believe I got them in the UK too. I got the Lem Sip Max, right? Because, uh, you know, I need the gnarliest one. These things are good for me as well. Uh, Neo Citron. What is Neo Citron, Richard? Let me find out what Neo Citron is. Neo Citron. Uh, Neo Citron, relief from headaches, fevers, colds, and flu. Looks good. Sounds good. It's what I need. Oh, this is what they're called. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the exact same thing. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Get cold and flu relief with Neo Citron. Take comfort in Neo Citron. Our range of products come in different flavors and strengths to soothe any symptoms. See all. What is the common cold? Let's read what that is first. What is the common cold? Sometimes it's not always easy to differentiate between a cold and the flu. I thought that were the same thing. A cold is a viral infection of the nose and throat. Well, I definitely had that. That's how it started with me. Throat and nose. Uh, visit our website to learn more about the common cold and what you can do to ease symptoms about the common cold. These people aren't down with the cold. Look at this woman. She's extremely pissed off. Like, are you sneezing again, love? Come on. I thought you were over this. They're not sick. They're happy. <laughs> Let's learn about it. <clears throat> the common cold is a viral infection of the nose and throat. You get it by touching something infected with a cold virus. Interesting. Uh, Richard, it sounds similar to your limpsic. I use it and it works, but it does not last long enough. I pound it back and go to bed for decent sleep. That's, that's what I do. Yeah, go to sleep. Have that before going to sleep for sure. You can also get it through the air when somebody coughs or sneezes. How do you know if you have a cold? That's pretty obvious. It's easy to mistake a bad cold for a flu, but there are differences between them. Colds are generally less severe and don't come on as suddenly as the flu. That's interesting. My flu came on within the space of one day. So I woke up one day, my throat was scratchy, and the back of my sinus is at the tip of my nose where it joins that little downward shoot. That was scratchy. I went surfboard riding, and I intentionally inhaled a whole bunch of water and I gargled it and I even snorted it. I got my, I got on the waters level and snorted salt water up both nasal passages, got it all the way back there. And my idea with that was they say like a saline solution is good for treating kind of infections and, and bacteria and stuff. Well, what's better than the greatest saline solution presented to humankind? The ocean, right? I've got the ocean right there. So I'm snorting all this crap up my nose felt okay that afternoon it sort of felt a little worse the next day when i woke up bam you're down you're down with that cold man and i was down that day was the arguably the start of it and then the next day which was yesterday uh, sorry the day before was the worst i was wednesday was the worst day so monday i got the scratches tuesday it started wednesday i was like you're you're sick thursday which was not so bad friday felt better today i'm feeling much better i should have listened to my mother more don't touch i pee in the ocean me too rich i'm peeing pretty much all the time when i'm surfing there's no problem with that um what are the symptoms of a cold a runny nose bingo bango sinus and nasal congestion bingo bango scratchy throat or sore throat pain bingo bango sneezing yes not a great deal but definitely some sneezes Weakened sense of taste or smell, absolutity and coughs, bingo, bango. 
Jason, how you doing, man? Did you mean come to YouTube because you said DLive? Did I? Whoopsie! I meant the other way around. I'll do, I, I, I'm sorry. Let me just go over to the DLive machine and make a comment. Um, um, I'm on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. On YouTube, folks. I'm gonna put this in the DLive. Sorry, Jason. I uh, I must have said that incorrectly. I did mean come over to YouTube. I thought I said that, but I probably didn't. My bad. Uh, and hello to the viewers coming over from DLive. I do see six watching and three likes on YouTube. Can we slap a Runa Rakarini on that like a Boon Banabini and get it up past three? The six, that's a half half ratio, and that's not good. I feel sick. Do I deserve a better like? Ooh, like this sickness. A pharmacist told me, says Jason, let ginger ale go flat and eat bananas. Let it go flat and eat bananas. So don't touch the ginger ale. That's weird. I guess they mean let it go flat, then drink it. Is a cold serious? Though a cold can make you feel miserable, it generally goes away on its own after about a week or two. Oh, hell no. Mine goes away after two or three days. For the most part, colds are annoying, but you can usually go about your normal daily routine. Of course, be considerate to others and wash your hands often so you don't spread the germses. What you can do to ease the symptoms. There is no cure for the cold, buh? There's no cure? Of all the things we can cure, we haven't been able to cure the common cold? Mindy, what do you know about this, working in healthcare? Is there no cure for the cold? They've got cures for everything these days. The cold hasn't got a cure? What are we trying to work on cancers and shit? Let's work on the cold first. What are we doing trying to cure COVID? Let's cure the cold, but that's the... What? There is no cure for the cold? Mindy confirms, no cure. How does that... How come? Why not? I guess it's not... Hang on, isn't... Is there a bigger picture here? Like, the common cold... If you think about people taking time off work because of a cold, industries losing out billions every year due to the common cold, yet no one's cured it? Something seems wrong there. Elizabeth! Hey, gives a minute. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Elizabeth Flood. Hello. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I'll give you a little cheers with my infected glass. Look how filthy it is. By the way, that filth is just the froth and the scum from the... Uh, from the uh, hairy lemon. Rich, I think warts are the same too. No real cure. No real cure for warts? She. There's no long-standing health repercussions, but what about the monetary and financial incentives or concerns? The only concern I've got right now is there are six watching and only four likes. I've got a concern of my own. The financial repercussions for that are massive. Can we get six likes if there are six watching? Who hasn't liked? Who out of the six hasn't liked? I haven't liked it because I'm watching, I'm streaming. Um, my mum makes magic soup, which is chicken and ginger and garlic added to it. Elizabeth, that sounds wonderful. Uh, Jason, I made a simple yeast bread recipe. First time I've made leavened bread, leavened, leavened bread. Interesting, interesting. So there's no cure for the cold. But here are a few things you can do to lessen the symptoms and make yourself more comfortable. Leave with chair. Uh, number one, rest. Take it easy and stay home if you can. Drink plenty of fluids, which I've been doing. You see? Number three, gargle with warm salt water. That tells me go surfing, right? Go surfing. Take a few wipeouts. Get the water in the back of your head. Gargle that crap. Use a clean humidifier or a cool mist vaporizer for sore throat pain and sinus congestion. If you smoke, stop or cut back. See, that's another surfing reference. Cut back. Gotta go surfing, folks. The remedy. It's, it's, it's written between the lines here. Cutbacks. Uh, use Neocitrin to ease a variety of symptoms. Now, where would this be found? On the Neocitrin website. What? There's no cure, but you can buy our product. Bam! I've got to slap top in the... I've got to top... I've got to stop slapping the desk because my 
Thunderbolt cables could disconnect. I found that out yesterday. I did plug them back in. I took them out, plugged them back in, made a little uh, jimmy, jimmy, jimmy. Let's take a look at this video, folks. Uh, how to get rid of a cold fast. This is a remedy that actually works. It's by Health Chronicle. Let's take a look. When your head is pounding like a jackhammer, your nose is running like Niagara Falls, Amen. and even your favorite foods start to taste like cardboard, you do almost anything to get rid of your cold. Before you resort to pouring yourself a tall glass of bleach to get Bleach? I was told whiskey. Whiskey and surfing. Coffee and cigarettes works for me, Jason. Seriously? Lemons have vitamin C, but good in other ways too. Lemons, yes, yes, true. Get rid of your symptoms. There are some better, <clears throat> non-crazy ways to cure your cold. One, get some sleep. The body can do miraculous things when we let it rest. This is a good point, right? Sleeping is fundamental to all body recovery, no matter what the issue is. I find sleeping is a great remedy for being tired. That's right. If you're tired, the best remedy is get sleep. What? That is. We often catch a cold when we're feeling run down or even exhausted. Sometimes, just getting some extra rest is all you need to help the immune system do its dirty work of cleaning out nasty viruses and foreign bacteria from the body. Just one day of extra rest can boost the immune system. Two, hydrate. Elizabeth, that's a good point. She says, it has been a long while since I had a cold or a flu. I was going to ask that about the, the, uh, the givers. For me, I had one last year. No, no. COVID. I didn't have one last year. I, I skipped the cold last year. I think. I shouldn't have blown my nose because now that is, that is all blocked up. How often do you yahoos get these? Like I've heard people say they get five or six every year. Some other people don't get them at all. Maybe they'll go three or four years without getting one. You would assume, given COVID and all the precautions, you would assume that the, the cold would be less prevalent. Um, like I said, I missed out last year getting one. Uh, I'm kind of happy I've got this now because I don't know if you, I don't know if YouTube knows. Do, do, does any put in the chat if you know what's happening to me in the next two weeks does anybody know what's going on with me in the next two weeks and if if not i'll tell you now i'll tell you i'll tell you all now hey shit yeah um md wit in the house md wit no stranger to the chat she was on the as a guest last night on the t live machine how you doing md wit good to see you uh rich been maybe your two or three years since i had my last cold wow dude Two or three years. Uh, MD, we haven't been sick in over 40 years. You haven't had a cold or a flu for four zero years. Holy balls. That's amazing. Uh, Elizabeth, for two weeks, I've been drinking orange ice, apple cider vinegar in water and organic apple juice. Interesting. Interesting. I've heard a lot about this apple cider vinegar. I've heard it's woefully hard to drink, but good for you. I'm well. Nope. Uh, so you. So nobody knows what's happening. Okay. Well, should I tell or should I not tell? I'm moving to New Zealand for the winter, and today is a very good day in the sense that my accommodation for the season uh, has been sorted. And I was waiting on one thing to come through, end of month style. And thankfully it came through yesterday before close of business. And that means today I can make my rental payments for my accommodation into New Zealand. And um, yeah, uh, and that's a good thing because then I can also get my airfare out of Australia into New Zealand. Um, and the reason I'm saying this now is because this cold is come has come at the best time for me because two things well now i know i won't well, more than likely i won't get one throughout the winter season in new zealand and secondly the COVID restrictions are still in place there are certain 
um, precautions that you've got to take. You've got to be double vaxxed and you've got to get a test proving you're clean, uh, negative. You got to get a test to prove you're negative. I've always been told I'm Mr. Negative. Um, so I went and got a test yesterday when I had these symptoms. And I, by the way, that test was the most intrusive test I've ever had. She stuck that thing down my throat the furthest, definitely the furthest anyone's ever stuck anything down my throat. That was far out. And then she shoved that thing up both nasal passages way deeper than any time before. I don't know if it was because I said I've got a cold, but she shoved that thing. She was pricking my brain, basically. And my all my eyes just went, bing! It was just teeming out with water, right? Like, my eyes were just dripping with water. I was like, in the car. Uh, 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 and the end result was Mr. Negative. I'm negative. So I'm happy that I've got this cold now to prove that I don't have COVID and I've had my winter cold and now I can go to New Zealand in the winter because don't forget it, Southern Hemisphere is going into winter and I'll be able to, because I got a job in the, in the uh, I got a job working for nzski.com. So I guess what this means for the streams, uh, less streams, there won't be these Jack Behind Me streams for a few months while I'm in New Zealand, but all of my content will be IRL. Um, all of it will be from New Zealand, bingo, bingo. And all of it will be IRL stuff. Either the house I've got, uh, fiber internet, shit, yeah. 20 bucks each a month. Can you believe that shit? Fiber internet, synchronous fiber in the house, 20 bucks each a month through the housemates, four, uh, five housemates. Australia, you suck balls. Um, it's good to put it in water to dilute it as well as apple juice. This is the apple cider vinegar, right, right, right. Middle-aged Shred, how you doing, man? A few drops of Olbus tree, Olbus oil tree and eucalypt in boiling water and inhale, great to clear the lungses. Is that right? Okay. Elizabeth, I've tried, I have tried having the organic apple cider vinegar straight. It's hard to drink, diluting it is good. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't want to do too much crazy stuff before I go to New Zealand, but I wouldn't mind when I get there and settled into the, to the job and everything's kind of cozy, then maybe try some of this organic apple cider vinegar diluted in, uh, diluting it in warm water or whatever. Let's see these remedies though. Hydrate. Water taken generously, even when you are not ill, helps the body to flush toxins out. And it is even more important to stay hydrated when you are sick. If you add some lemon and honey to your water and warm it, this can also help to loosen phlegm and reduce congestion. Cool. Three, rely on nature's herbal helpers. Like, what was that word? What did she just say? Ginger. Wait, whoa. Three, rely on nature's herbal helpers. What did she say? Congestion. Three. Rely on nature's herbal helpers. Herbal? Herbal? Congestion. Three. Rely on nature's herbal helpers. Herbal helpers? What's an herbal? Congestion. Three. Rely on nature's herbal helpers. Herbal helpers. It's... Congestion. Three, rely on nature's herbal helpers. America, listen clearly. Listen up, America. The letter H, as in helpers, is said with a huh. Like you would say hospital or her or hello. It's right there. You've got it written on both words. Yet on the word herbal, you choose to ignore it. But on the word helper, you'll say it. If you're going to say herbal helpers, you should say herbal helpers. Don't pick and choose. What the hell, America? You guys are weird. The H is silent sometimes. No, it's not silent. It's not si It's right there, man. How could it be silent? It's not silent in herbal. It's not silent in hospital. It's not silent in helicopter. It's not silent in helpers. It's a letter. It stands for the sound H. Ha, ha. You guys are weird. You think Australia's weird? 
You flaming Americans are all weirdos. Now watch out. The dingo biting my ankle down there. Flaming drongo. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jason says Mexico. And Mexico, right? So saying Mexico with an H in strange times we live in, folks. Excuse me while I ride my helicopter to the hospital to get help. Where are you going? I'm going to ride my helicopter to the hospital for help. Don't forget the herbs. Oh, won't forget my herbs, you flaming American. I'm from Canada. I'm Canadian. No offense taken. <laughs> And don't tell me knife with a K is silent, because yes, there's no other there's no other words that have a K in the front that don't get said knife, of course, of course. But every other word with H in it gets the letter H, except herbs, herbal congestion. Three, rely on nature's herbal helpers like ginger, garlic, oregano oil, astragalus root, olive leaf, and calendula. These are calendula. I've got to check my calendula for my time in New Zealand. Natural oh, shit. Ah, while we're here, folks, uh, if you enjoy me uh, telling you all off for speaking incorrectly, smash that like button. I see six watching and five up likes. I need one more. Whack it. High virals, which support the body as adaptogens. Hey, fuck what? Whack it. Hey, I want more than five dudes. I'm sick here. I'm de I'm demanding you smack that like button. I'm sick. You you like. I sick. You like. Let's be clear about this transaction. I'm here sweating. I'm here uh, ill. I'm infecting my microphone. I'm spitting all over my laptop. You like that button. Do it. Don't make me come in there. Add some turmeric, and organic coconut oil, natural antibacterials to your diet, and your cold hasn't got a chance. Great. Follow these simple cold remedies and you won't need to flush your nose and throat like a cleaning lady wielding a toilet brush and caustic chemical cleaners. Middle-aged shred, it's on. Six, I took the like button out to lunch. I want to see you marry that like button. I don't want to hear about lunch dates. I see six versus six. Yeah, that's a ratio, folks. Six likes, six watching. I'm happy with that. Very nice of you. If you want to go further and take it out for dinner and... You know, smooth talk that like button. The next thing you know, you'll be walking hand in hand down that aisle. Living together and getting ill together and taking your herbal remedies. Then I'm appreciative of that. My like button can go out and hang out and marry whoever it damn well pleases. This like button slides with the wind, moves with the currents, drifts around the oceans willy nilly. Get out there like button. There's a whole world of you to exist with. Don't just come over here and stay with me. Spread your wings. Spread your... I won't go there. Just have fun, like button. No desperate acts required. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and... Come on! I just asked for likes. Now it doesn't look good if you do as well. Get out of there. Dude, this ear is so blocked up because of the snorting and crap. So that was some, uh, that was some herbal remedies. Let's look at this. Six all natural remedies for the cold. I guess there's going to be herbal remedies here as well. It's an Instagram video, huh? Water. Okay, so there's no there's no talking on this, so we don't need any tuneses. Lemon, ginger, a tea towel, water, honey, lemon. Vodka. Stay hydrated and give your immune system a gentle boost with this naturally soothing anti-inflammatory ginger and lemon water that can help to aid in digestion and help you get back to feeling your best quickly. Stir it up with a tea towel, a teaspoon. Tap the tea. Oh, didn't tap the teaspoon. Uh, fill up a glass with water. Uh, add some salt. Or go to the ocean and scoop some salt water out like I do. Stir it up. And whoa, anti-clockwise stirring? What are you? Some kind of weirdo? Is that an anti-clockwise stir? Hey, turn that music off. Get him out of here. Watch this. Watch this anti-clockwise stir. Water goes in. 
Salt goes in. Anti-clockwise, you flaming weirdos. Next you're going to be speaking without the H. This has got to be American, right? Elizabeth, I've also been taking multivitamins, a V, D2, D3, B12, and turmeric for over two years. Interesting. Drink it. Love it. Enjoy it. You didn't. That's not the same drink. B-wax. B-wax? Coconut oil. Anti-clockwise anti stir. Simmer it down. Peppermint oil. Eucalyptus oil, sandalwood oil, all the oils up there, up there, up there on the platform, stirring anti-clockwise, peppermint oil for relief from the muscle pain, eucalyptus oil for the soothing the throats, amen, fighting bacteria, sandalwood oil has significant anti-inflammatory purposes. Mr. Pickles, how you doing, Mr. Pickles? How you doing, Mr. Pickles? Let me ask you something. As you came sliding in there, did you slide past the like button? Did you just cruise past it and say, hello, I'm coming in? Or did you go, hey, like button, and snap it? Did you snap it on the on the slide in? I hope you did. Because if you just went past it, the like button is looking at you as you go through and pulling faces behind your back. So just reach over and flap it. Flap it one. Go on, give it a good flap. While we learn about how to cure the common cold. Mosquitoes. Pour that into a little thing like I've got here. Uh, half a cup, I guess that is. Cover it. Ah, oh, now it's surfboard wax. Ah, oh, rub it on your boobsies. Okay. And feel good. Close your eyes and feel good. Relief pressure pressure points to get rid of the block nose. I got you. Thank you, Mr. Pickles. Thank you. I see seven likes. I see them. I see seven likes. Seven watching, Mr. Pickles. This filthy used glass of deception is cheersing for you. Thank you, man. Cheers. So touch your nose. Right. Touch it. Feel good. Touch your eyebrow. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Uh, touch your eye thing. Uh... Touch the other side of your eye. Simon didn't say though. Touch there. Simon didn't say. You're all out. You've already been there before, but go there again. Simone didn't say. Oh, well, touch down here, folks. Keep it above the gutter. Touch there. What are these pressure points? <clears throat> Homemade gummies with vitamin C. Okay. Uh, grab a pan. Add some clear moisture. I guess that's water. Uh, that looks like garlic, maybe. Uh, put a lid on it. Then it comes out like that. And then that goes in there. It gets done like that. You throw those things away now. You don't need them. And then add that back to a new pan. Possibly the same one that's been washed. And then add some more of it, because you had some left over. It looks like honey. Yeah, that's honey scooper. Uh, stir that up together. Uh, get two shots of the stirring, both clockwise and anti-clockwise. That was lemon rind. Was it really, Elizabeth? Lemon rind. Yeah, okay. You're probably right. Probably right. Pour it into a lovely bowl. And then refrigeration. No, give it an anti-clockwise stir. Add some salt. Or is that sugar? That's probably sugar, right? Lemon juice, honey. Okay, gotcha. That's a that's a lamb sip, right? Oh, clockwise stir, you weirdos. Watch this. Watch this. Clockwise. Wow. That's to stir, that's to confuse the atoms. I guess that's the most. That's the remedy, right? You got to confuse the micro atoms. Tap it. Clap your hands. Love hearts appear. Uh, be very careful to pour it in the love hearts. Okay. Clean it up a little. Move it. When you bring it, when you bring it back, they're these things. There you go. Actually, they look... They, ah, and that's it. They do look nice. 
Autoplay, how to kick a cold in 24 hours. Get out of there. Lots of different remedies, folks. Lots of different remedies. But like I said before, at the beginning of this stream, I said, I've got a cold, but you often hear the cold being called a man flu. Do you hear this term before, man flu? I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, that's on the edge of being cancelled, right? Like, it doesn't seem very woke if you're going to call it man flu. I mean, someone's going to get offended, right? Who's gonna, Who would get offended by that? Let me, let me work it out. The men wouldn't get offended because it's got their their name to it, man flu. The flu's not going to get offended. I guess the only ones who are going to get offended are women. Maybe women and children. Maybe the elderly. Maybe anybody that's not a man is going to get offended, right? But here we are still in this golden age we live in, 2022. God bless the years we live in. We're allowed to call it a man flu? I mean, didn't they cancel man caves? Wasn't that a thing that got canned? Like, you can't have a man cave? But yeah, we can still have a man flu? So what, if it's a bad thing, it's okay. But if it's a good thing, you can't have it? The man flu. Now, they can keep that because it sucks. Like, no one wants to get a man flu. But your man cave? That's definitely out. You can't have a man cave, right? I'm offended. I'm highly offended that you'd have an overhanging rock crevice that you call a man cave hell no that's a cave cave anyway i thought i found this one would be interesting to discuss i think the white powder was vitamin c is that right jason okay might have been might have been got this video here the man flu the dreaded dreaded disease let's take a look i said you're a big tough guy nothing slows you down you might break a leg playing hockey, but damn it, you'll finish the game. But just like Superman, you've got your kryptonite. And there's a horrible disease that seems to hit you worse than anyone else in the world. So this is very uh, in uh, non-inclusive, right? You're a man, you play hockey, you're Superman. What about the women, the children, the poor, the elderly? This isn't cool. Cancel this shit. The dreaded man flu. You know the man flu. The Urban Dictionary states, the condition shared by all males, wherein a common illness, usually a cold, is thought by the patient to be life-threatening. The good news is, we're pretty sure you're going to pull through, and there's a number of things you can do to stay healthy. In reality, the man flu is a bunch of symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat, runny nose, and possible muscle ache. Check, 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 check. I got all those. Often resulting from a virus brought home by your kids, or even from your work. Man flu spreads when people cough or sneeze out droplets with viruses in them, or sometimes if someone touches a surface with the virus on it, then touches their mouth or nose. I got it. I probably got it at the festival. Um, hockey is a man's game, Mr. Pickles. You can't be saying that though, you know? It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right to be able to say that. And I got a point to make here after we uh, watch this highly offensive video. I'm very offended here. The best way to fight this dreaded disease is to keep it simple, which is perfect for you, buddy. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, keep your hands clean, and if you happen to get the man flu, don't go to work, and learn to cough or sneeze into your sleeves so you don't spread this to anyone else. <coughs> and while there's no guarantee the annual flu shot can prevent you from getting influenza, which is a particularly nasty cause of the flu, by getting the shot, you not only protect yourself, but also those around you. And you're not afraid of needles, right tough guy? Now, despite having done all these things right, you'll still get the man flu sooner or later. Now what? Well, first off, if you think you have it, avoid contact with other people until you're better. Now, that means you can stay home from work until you no longer have a fever of 38 degrees or higher. Going to a doctor's office, walk-in clinic, or emergency department for most cases of man flu is not needed and unnecessarily puts other people at risk. When you're at home, remember to stay hydrated, use appropriate pain and anti-fever medication if needed. Now, if you're somebody who has a health condition that puts you at a higher risk, you know, someone who's got a weakened immune system, diabetes, or kidney disease, you should seek medical attention more quickly. Notice how the medical attention is from a woman? Ooh, well. But if you're generally healthy, we suggest you seek attention if you're having trouble breathing, you can't keep fluids down, you have a bad cough with serious phlegm or mucus, or you can't control your fevers despite medications. Fever. Uh, Elizabeth says, women play hockey too. She did. And then said, not ice hockey. So is ice hockey a man's sport? Ooh, careful, careful. And finally, the most baffling question of all, why do women and kids not get hit as hard with this dreaded disease? Ooh, 
this is very uninclusive. These. Well, kids just don't experience the same extreme level of symptoms. And as it turns out, women are just tougher than you. They have the same symptoms, but seem to soldier on. Oh, what about a trans woman who identifies as a male? Uh-oh, now it gets tricky. So take this knowledge and spread the word. Man flu will not take you down. Oh, Prevention shit. is key, and we know that most of you guys can do your part to fight this devastating Man thing. flu, guys? See, here's the thing. This is the point that I was trying to get at, or this is the point I was going to get at with this. Even though I'm sick right now, even though my mind is a little aloof, I can draw this conclusion pretty succinctly. You shouldn't be able to call this thing a man flu if not just men get it. So women get it, but they don't whinge about it. Men get it, they whinge about it. So are you essentially, by saying man flu, you're essentially saying the male species is a pack of whiny, uh, I don't want to say bitches, a pack of whiny males, right? Whereas women suck it up. But then in, entertain the notion of men who transgender to women and women who transgender to men. You enter this very strange dilemma of, well, you got the flu, but you were a woman. So now you're a male. Are you allowed to be a whiny male and take three months off work because you got the man flu? I don't know if you're able, according to uh, pop culture, you're not allowed to because it's only for men, right? You see what I'm saying? And, and, and the reason I'm saying it is because not that I agree with it, not that I believe in it, but that's where we are on this planet where we, we've allowed ourselves to get so deep into the woods of this can't offend anybody, can't call anybody what they are. So we've entertained this notion for so long now that we've got into a point where it's like, well, now it's going to butt up against a wall because the very thing that you're saying we shouldn't do is now going to cause a problem because you've got this term in this instance, the, the man flu, which everybody seems to be able to say without any repercussions, willy nilly. Yet the concept of it is going to hit itself up against a wall when a female who's transgendered into a male gets man flu. Has that happened yet? I don't know. I haven't been watching the news. Been too busy here with my herbal remedies. Uh, look up Scott Stevens highlights. You think a woman could even budge that guy? I don't know who Scott Stevens is. Scott Stevens? Is that the, um, Scott Stevens? Is that that, um, that soccer thing? That soccer meme? Football? There are Canadian and USA women hockey players. So I, I guess the reason I added it, I, the reason I wanted to add this at the end of this discussion about remedies and cures for the common cold is because this term man flu is getting thrown around quite liberally and quite easily, which I don't see a problem with. But if those who cancel other people for even miss mispronouncing their pronoun them they her it he she all that crap if people go down that avenue of cancelling then this probably should be cancelled as well not that i agree with it but you can't have one and not the other you're either going to go all the way in on that crap or you're gonna have to pull back and go all right it's stupid let's backtrack a little here and become more sensible because man flu I mean, let me, like, what, what's the date here? It's 2022. It's April 2022. My prediction is, that's not getting a charge. My prediction is within 20, uh, 20, within 20, say 2025, the term man flu will be canceled. That's my take on it. Because of this weird avenue we're in, because of this weird juncture that we find ourselves in. Put it in your calendars, 2025, man flu that term will be as shunned as, I don't know, a pack of, you know what? I'm not going to do it because I'll probably get canceled here. Hey, um, what do you think? Am I, am I on a trail here or is this just my twisted mind full of all my herbal remedies and my hairy lemons and my lamb sips? Is this my mind playing tricks with me or am I, have I got something here or should I continue to take my meds? 
take a Codrill Day capsule and be done with it? Or do I have a point? Thanks for being here with me. Rich, political correctness suffers immensely from oversteering or overcorrecting. And that's why, thank you for entertaining this, but that's why it has to swing back the other way. It's gone so far, so long down this crazy, ridiculous trail that it has to swing back, right? And the way it'll swing back is when it comes up against things like man flu, for instance. There'll be other examples as well, but this one's the most obvious right now because I've got man flu, right? This is how it's going to stop. It's going to get to a point where it's like, well, I guess we can't do that, can we? We can't, we can't have that. If we can't have this, we can't have that. So let's just not have either. Let's all pull back a little and reset and say, okay. And what did Ricky Gervais say? Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. So everyone that gets offended by these, you know, didn't call me my, my, by my correct pronoun, you can be offended by that. Doesn't mean you're right though. Doesn't mean you're right. So let's all take a step back or let's continue deep down this trail we're going and wind up at a crossroads where we go, okay, got to reevaluate now because it's not working. Because what, what do you call? How, how do you... How do you tell a, a woman who transgendered to, fuck, it's so confusing. How do, what, what do you say to a woman who transgendered from female to male and got a flu and then gets complaining and whinging and whining like this video explained? Does she have man flu? Well, she was born female, but now identifies as a male so therefore she shouldn't be whining and complaining because man flu only affects males. Somehow women don't get it. You see what I'm saying? Like, and I know it's like a pop thing, like pop culture where people have, it's not a hard and fast rule, but this is where culture collides with society. It gets deep, right? It gets so deep and it gets confusing. And ultimately the end result is no one wants to offend anybody else. So everybody just stays quiet. Nobody says anything. How come, how come Joe, that's a neutrally, that's a non-binary, non-gender specific name, isn't it? Joe, it could be male or female. How come Joe's not at work? Uh, they got the man flu. Ooh, careful. They got what flu? Shit, now, oh, you're fired. Why, why, what did I do? You, you identified Joe as a they, when they identify as a he, but she was born a female and she's now got man flu. And you, you offended her by saying they got flu. You got to identify, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's so confusing. And the whole, the whole point of it is you can't offend somebody, but then it's like anything that you say has the potential to offend them. So no matter if you try to do the right thing by this video and identify it as a man flu, you could be offending them just by, just by saying it. What a strange, strange predicament we found ourselves in on this planet in 2022. I don't want to offend you and you don't want to offend me, but um, be very careful. And you know what will end up happening? People just won't say anything. People will just sit there in silence. It'll be like, I'm not, I'm, I'm just here to press this button. I'm not saying a thing to anybody, right? Because I'm going to offend somebody. Even if I press the button with my right hand, could offend the left hand. All those crew that don't have a hand because they lost it in birth and they've only got one arm, they're going to get offended. I've got to start pressing the button with my foot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to get stupidly crazy. So ridiculous. If you're offended by this, smash that like button for me. I see eight likes and I see five watching. I appreciate that. That's a good ratio. Uh, Rich, I respect everybody's individual preference, but I don't like favoring specific groups. I'd rather take the effort to recognize all and respect them equally. That's kind of, uh, that's a great stance to take, Rich. The problem is if you take that stance, which I believe everybody should, at some point you're going to offend somebody. That's the problem. You can have that very wide perspective and I appreciate it and I, I agree with it. You should treat everybody the same. But at some point, doing that is going to cause problems with somebody. 
because they're going to get offended by something. In this case, man flu, right? That's going to... This will happen. There will be... I'm surprised there isn't already, but I'm sure if you search deep and hard enough, you'll find people that are offended by the term man flu. Sure, surely, right? There'll be, there'll be a, a Reddit thread, man flu needs to be cancelled. For sure there is. So even if you take the best possible stance you can and make everybody feel comfortable, someone's going to wind up getting offended. It's... Steak? Money's too tight for steak. Steak? Censorship as a disease. Angus, how you doing, man? Thank you for the super chat. Censorship is a disease. Three bucks, man. Cheers, dude. Appreciate you. It's a strange one, isn't it? Very strange one. Someone is going to get offended. So my take on it is we got to step back, reevaluate the rules, reevaluate the lay of the land, and start again because this isn't working. And it could just be my twisted mind right now full of uh, these herbal remedies, but I don't think it is. There is about 2.3 micrograms of nicotine in a potato. There you go. Random facts from Jason on the Gives It on the Gives a Minute YouTube stream. Rich, I've offended some, but they felt comfortable telling how I did it so I could avoid doing it again. This is good. When some Okay, good point. When somebody gets offended, instead of running and screaming and suing and canceling and popping up tweets on Twitter, they should just go to the person and say, hey, um, this didn't work for me because of this and that. Can you not do that again? But that's not what happens in, in our society. Instead, instead of going to the person, they go public and they cancel that person. So you you did something that upset me and now I want you to fail in everything that you do because what you did upset me. Whereas the better option would be that person goes to this person and says, hey, this wasn't cool because A, B, and C. And then that person goes, oh, I can see that. Yeah, cool. I won't do that again. And then everybody's happy, right? But that's never what happens. It's the opposite. You looked at me wrong. You asked me, am I okay? Are you okay? I don't want you to know if I'm okay. I want to be, I want to be happy in my misery, or I don't need you to ask me, are you, are you insinuating I'm not okay? And then far out, there's a Twitter thread where someone accused someone of being uh, at a point, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden this pops off. It's, just, it's good point, Rich, but it doesn't work that way. More than more than not, it works the other way, where the person who did the offending, perceived offending, doesn't get spoken to until everybody else knows about it and they get cancelled. God, what a funny world we live in. I need more potatoes, Rich. I'm going to get out of here, folks, because I am thinking about going and cutting back and inhaling some salt water. I'm thinking about going for a surf. I don't know if I should, though. The tide's going out. The waves were good this morning when the tide was full, but the waves are too small. So I'm thinking it's offshore wind here from the west southwest, which is good. Um, it's raining and, and cold. It's not good. I got a wetsuit. That's good. If the tide goes out far enough and the banks start forming up and then there's a good section, I might go out. I'll go down and have a good look. Um, but there is something else I've got to do today. Two things for New Zealand. Uh, I'm going to do a stream later on on DLive. Uh, we're going to look at that Faith No More documentary uh, making the Angel Dust album. We got up to a point in there. Uh, Mike Patton was getting interviewed. He's going to offend somebody, or that was back in 1980. What year was Angel Dust? No, that would have been 1990, 91. Yeah, yeah, 91, 91. <laughs> Anyway, folks, um, uh, Angus, thanks again for the super chat. And thanks, everybody, for being here with me. If you didn't already, uh, wang on that like button. I see five watching and ten wangs. That's a good wang ratio. Appreciate the wangs on the like button. And I'll see you, Yahoo's, next week. We're going to have Lachlan Sheehan from Tracer on talking about DI amps. Yeah, yeah. 